Hey guys, welcome to this uh, another exciting and informative episode of the Apple Box today. Um, today I'm actually shooting on my Sony PDX10 uh, um, Mini DV DV Cam camcorder. Back in the day, this thing rocked. Um, it was essentially the th you know the corporate video, the wedding video guys, you know, weapon of choice back then when these cameras came out. And we thought these things were like the bee's knees. I remember using these things at uni. And you know, being astounded by the quality, because you know, all we guys used to sort of shoot with beforehand was um, standard sort of you know SVHS compact video cameras and you know VHS cameras and you know stuff like that. So now you may be wondering why today I'm actually shooting on such a low f you know SD format of camera. Um, I'm basically saying you know you can shoot on anything basically out there and you know create great results. That's one thing, but. You know, obviously, if it's you know it's serving its purpose and telling a story, fair enough. But obviously, in this day and age, you know, HD video is um, re readily accessible, and um, you know everyone's using it, so why not use it? Because you know we've got to get a move of the times and get the greatest quality we can. But for YouTube, um, you know, you you sort of can cut some corners, I think, here and there. Anyway, today I'm gonna. The reason why I'm not shooting on my 5D is because I've got the 5D rigged up um, on this little sucker here on my JAG35 um, field runner um, DSLR rig. Now, as you can see, this DSLR rig is a um, sort of suitably um, made for you know cameras like the 5 um, the 5D. Um, definitely cameras in the, the DSLR range. It's um, created for that purpose. Um, so you can counterbalance your camera while still creating some great shots. Now, one thing we've got to remember is the 5D was never made for shooting, um, well, was never, Canon's intention was never to actually make a camera that um, shot high-end quality video and that was going to be used, you know, in Hollywood movies and TV shows and, you know, out there for, you know, videographers and filmmakers, basically. You know, they just, they just made their high-end digital stills camera, um, um, you know, for the world to see, but somehow, you know, they added this little video function in there and it sort of skyrocketed and, you know, you know, the rest is history and this thing's been going big guns since 2008. And so, essentially what's been happening, a lot of um, third-party um, guy, um, third-party um, companies that make um, rigs for, um, you know, all ranges of cameras, you know, right down from follow focuses, um, lens gears, you know, shoulder, shoulder mounts, um, you know, viewfinders and so forth, went out and saw that there was a market to create DSLR products and, you know, sort of cash in on everything and get in on the wave and they were exactly right. And this is a pure example of what, what, what has happened. I've got the main mini, uh, the main field runner here from JAG35, jag35.com, check them out. Um, this, this rig slightly differs from what they've got on the website at the moment. Um, I think, if anything, there's a, a few variations on it, but it's very, very similar. We've got the two handles at the front, top handle at the back, and you obviously have got the shoulder support here to counterweight your, um, your camera. Um, so I must admit, you know, shooting handheld off the cuff with the, um, the Canon 5D just on its own is very difficult to do and very hard to keep it steady. You know, if you've got this little LCD viewfinder in here, which I'll talk about in another video later on, um, you can very much hold the camera with your two hands and put your, your eye up to the, the eyepiece and actually get some nice steady shots. And there's a lot of people that go out there and do that. If that's all you can afford, then why not? Let's go do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get a bit more serious and you want to have more stability with your cameras and so forth, then, you know, please go out and buy, find research the rigs and go find one like I did. Now, the reason why I bought the... The JAG35 um, field runner was because it was affordable for me and the, the price range seemed great and for what you were getting I thought it was great. Now there are other um, obviously rigs out there on the market, especially the high end ones like the Red Rock Micro and the Secudo brands and I must admit the for the money that you pay and you know the quality you're getting, they are astounding products. I've used some of their products and I must admit, I, if I ever had the money and you know I could justify it, I would go out and buy their stuff. Superb quality stuff, so definitely go out and try it. Um, but you know, for now, for me, for the affordable filmmaker, this thing does an excellent job. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, you don't have to obviously spend you know mega bucks and so forth. So as long as it's you know it's providing you with you know great. Um, you know, great support and so forth, and it's, you know, delivering what you want 
for your productions, then why not go get it? You know, you could even go out and build your own um, um, home-built stuff if you wish. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I know on Amazon they sell like a $30, um, you know, harness that you can strap to your body and you just sit the camera up here like that. You know, if that's all you need, you want some stability and you're going to get great shots, then why not do it? With this camera, obviously on the back plate, on the shoulder um, rest here, you've got different holes that you can screw different things in. So if you want to screw extra battery, you want to power this up with more battery for the monitor or the actual camera, you can. Um, you can rig up microphones to there. You can clip on, it's very, ex it's a very industry standard with a 15mm rod, so you can clip on different little um, gizmos and you know have your microphones hanging out, your monitors um, and so forth. It basically screws onto this little middle mount here simple sort of tripod screw. It's not a quick release, if anything. Um, I don't think you'd be needing a quick release sort of plate to get your 5D on and off. Um, I don't see the point in that. If you want to do that though, you want to go from run and gun, whack it on a tripod. There's like a, I think a $50, $50 tripod plate that you can buy here. Um, you can easily slip this in to the bottom of the, um, bottom of the, um, the rails here and just leave it Leave it hanging there and just hook up your little um, tripod base plate in here and whack it on your tripod for the you know some of the static shots you want to get. And if you want to quickly run out and get something run and gun, then all you do is just click it off and off you go. So I think that's you know that's worth getting as well if you're on the jag35.com website, check it out because that's that's a cool little um, thing. And even if you didn't want to have it on the rig, you can you can take all these rods off, just whack it on this, put it in a tripod, and have, still have your um, follow focus if you. You're just on a, on a static rig. Um, but this thing easily breaks down. Like I've traveled overseas with this thing and put it in my suitcase, which is great, you know, and it, it's really compact. Fits in your suitcase, lightweight, doesn't weigh anything down, so you're not paying excess baggage and so forth. And, it, you know, it's very transportable. So, you know, I've taken this over to South America and America and all over the place and, you know, all over Australia. And, you know, it goes everywhere with me. I pretty much shoot everything I can on this thing. I shoot weddings on it. I shoot for short films on it. I shoot, shoot corporate stuff on it. Um, I just think it's like, you know, the greatest thing I've ever invested. So it's great, a great investment. I think it's roughly around $280 US. Um, like I said, they've changed a little bit with the field run at the moment. There's a few different um, on the design and so forth, but it's pretty much essentially this, at the, you know, the same. Lightweight, compact, affordable, easy to pack up and, you know, ship around. Good thing about this is it also works with other JAG 35 products. Um, you know, if you go out and buy other little things um, from their website, you can, you might be able to buy, you know, some more handles, some more, some more rods, and configure your own sort of setup. So it's really great with that. Here at the front, I've obviously got a follow focus unit from Deep Focus. You get that on the JAG 35 website also. Um, works on the simple cog system. You got a little nice white dish at the front here where you can mark your end and mark your focus points with this little Allen key that's positioned up here. That's really great. Um, I find this really great um, for run and gun style when you're trying to shoot and you're shooting and you're trying to focus and stuff. It's really, really awesome instead of just sitting there and sort of getting your arm around and being a bit cumbersome and a bit awkward. So it's really, really good for that. Really good for short films when you've got a focus puller on board. Such, such easiness where, you, where you're not sort of holding the lens and you know like you might be bumping it when you're, you're trying to film stuff so that's that's really great for that um i think these things here are about 140 dollars us to buy um you can get lens gears with them if you pay another 30 us dollars or something the lens gears that come with the d focus um model work on a little ring that screws into the into the base of your um your lens to keep it in place um some people have a bit of an issue screwing in, you know, things into the lens um, it, where it could damage the rubber and damage the, the you know, the outside of the the lens. Um, if you know, if you, you know, if you're not worried about that, then why, you know, just go get it. But um, on this, I've actually got a Red Rock Micro um, lens lens gear. Um, cost me around forty dollars um, Australian Australian dollars here. Um, definitely worth the investment. Um, fits on. A number of range of lenses this one um, yeah definitely worth the investment there another thing I've got on here is the um, LCD viewfinder I'm going to talk about that in another video later on um, on the Apple box because I think that's a separate sort of issue that we're going to talk about but you know at the end of the day that thing really um, completes the project um, you know completes this little system here where 
you know, you've really pretty much sanitized this camera, taken it from a digital stills, you know, SLR camera, just a photographer's dream into, you know, a filmmaker's dream. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That's essentially it for my DSLR rig. You know, if you've really got to go out and sort of like research this thing really well, and if you get the chance, try and find someone that's got these rigs and try and test them out. Even if you go hire them out of productions and just see. Because, um, you know, you may not be comfortable with this rig, you might want something else. But like I said, you know, this is the, the JAG 35 Field Runner. There's other products that they've got on their, um, their website, they've got the full, um, the full kit, you know, the full straight rig that they, um, they offer and other bits and pieces. But, you know, for a basic setup, um, you're looking at, you know, maybe what, 280 for the rig, another um, 150 for the follow focus, and what, another 40 for the, um, the, the lens gear. So you're looking at a good investment there. I must, I must admit, I must admit, this has been a good investment because it's, um, you know, it certainly paid itself off with the amount of client work that I've done and it certainly made my job a lot easier um, without getting too achy in the shoulders and trying to figure out some suitable way to really counterbalance these DSLR cameras and shoot in a cine, um, shoot and shoot in a, um, a video style. So it's definitely, I know a lot of people think, well, you know, you're, you're spending so much money on buying these cameras and lenses, you know, why not buy video cameras? Like, well, you know, we could do that, but the quality you get out of these cameras is amazing and you know at the end of the day buying all these little rigs and bits and pieces it's kind of the same as we're going out and buying a video camera you know it's pretty much affordable in that sense and you're getting great quality for it so essentially check it out jag35.com website um, check out their defocus go to red rock micro and check out their lens gears and rigs as well like there's some fantastic stuff out there and i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and yeah guys remember i'm lucas shuffle from the apple box and as always, keep shooting.